of an ambush? Yes, May 26th of 1999. Um, there was supposed to be, I knew, I knew about a meeting. Um, I wasn't clear on the day. Um, all I did was find out later, because I didn't get a call from him that day. Okay. Um, it, it was my mother who claimed that my father called her. Now, this is strange, because my dad didn't talk on phones. Yeah. But my mother had turned around and said that my dad said to her on the phone, my dad was in the city at his union office that day, and said that he got a phone call and that he had to go meet the kid. And that my dad was pissed off. Now, I found out that my dad was pissed off leaving his union office. I found that out to his secretary. Uh, my dad, when he went to his union office, said he'd like to do what he needed to do and then leave when he was gone. Um, so it was a surprise to him. Um, but, of course, he went. Um, that's how that life is. Um, it was said that it was supposed to be in regards to straightening somebody out. I mean, that's the story that I got. Um, so my dad leaves the office. Um, he's having problems with his truck. Um, so he decided to drop that off at a local mechanic that worked on that he trusted to work on his truck. Um, and uh, from what the FBI had told me and the NYPD is that they had tailed my father from the city into Brooklyn, and this is verbatim. They told me that they lost my dad at a red light. And the red light that they lost him at was literally the corner in which, on the mechanic's shop. They said that they were able to visibly see him go in, but they never seen him come out. Wow. So somehow he got out of there. Um, Got up to 92nd Street and Shore Road. Uh, he was picked up from there, uh, taken to Little Dino Saracino's house. Um, and again, I wasn't there, but this is what I was told. Um, is that, and I, I believe uh, uh, Moody Dashcam uh, also mentioned it in his video, yeah. um, that my dad had turned around and said to Gioli, Tommy Schatz, uh, the kids here, right? And those words right there, those words right there to me, the son, that's what tells me he knew that, he, that it might have been it, you know? That it, that it was coming. Because wow. my dad had put other men in this same position. Yeah. So I can't be a hypocrite, guys. Well, I, I just, I can't. Well, your father, and what I kind of gleaned from our interview, let me chat a little bit on, on that stuff too. But what I see that your father was, you know, a, a, a good dad. You know, he had his challenges. But he was the kind of guy that maybe might come late, but he would come home, right? So when did your mother first know the first time the trouble? Was it, you know, 11 p.m.? Was it, oh crap, she woke up? What was that first sign of trouble? Uh, from your it, before, you know. it it wasn't until um, that night that I drove to her house in Staten Island, and um, it was probably one of the hardest things I ever had to do. Um, and I didn't come out and say to my mother. He's dead. Those weren't my words. All I was trying to figure out from her right away was just the timeline. And I was trying to be calm with her as I was talking to her. You know, um, just saying to her that, um, you know, I paged him a few times. I didn't tell her it was like 20 times. Um, but I told her, I said, I was trying to get a hold of him. Um, I beat him with my code 08 with a 911 multiple times. I said he didn't respond. Um, I said, so mom, I need to, I need for you to give me the timeline. When was the last time you spoke to him? And she couldn't really recall the 
time. So then I had said to her, um, what did he say to you on the phone? You know, do you remember? And that's when she started saying, Billy Boy, my mother used to call me Billy Boy. Um, Billy Boy, why are you asking me these questions? You know, and um, I just said to her, I'm like, look, you know, I was waiting for him up at the club and he never showed up. So I'm just wondering if maybe he got a tip that, you know, maybe a pinch was coming down. You know, and that's how I tried to paint the picture for my mom, yeah. you know, to try to keep her calm.